It's one player, two player, put controller in, and they turn the power button on and say, Power on! Ocean's, Ocean's Eleven is such a good movie. I have not seen it. Is it is it's it worth so it? fucking good. I sh I've, I've been watching a lot of Brad Pitt movies. I'll probably sit down and watch that one. He wears the Austin Powers wig in that one. <laughs> I'm not even lying. There's a bit where he's like, dis no, I don't doubt it. He's disguised as a doctor, and the wig he wears for that is like the same one Mike Myers wore for like rehearsals for Austin Powers. That's fucking great. And it's, you yeah, know, Ocean's Eleven is such a fucking good heist movie. Like, isn't there? Isn't Ocean's Ten is the one with uh, the women, isn't it? No, that was Ocean's Ocean's Eight. It's Ocean's Eight. Okay, what's Ocean's Ten? There wasn't Ocean's Ten. There's not an Ocean's Ten. Okay, so it's just Ocean's Eleven and then Ocean's Twelve. Oh, then it's Ocean's Thirteen. Ocean's Thirteen. That's what that's what the sequel was. My bad. Is there an Ocean's Ten? I know there was like a movie from like. It sounds it... like a real movie, but I could be wrong. Yeah, no, there, okay, it was Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, because I'm like, maybe Ocean's Ten was... Because there's... It's it's technically... A, it's a remake of a movie from the 60s. With, like, Frank Sinatra. Oh, okay. And, like, all those guys. But, uh... So I'm like, oh, maybe that was that, was that movie? No, it was, it was just called Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, the original Ocean's Eleven is t just fucking insane because of how, like, the time it was made... <laughs> terrible or is it like I, I, oh there it is that's what i need well it's like because basically the ending of that one is they they do the heist but they lose the money oh this, is that the one with uh fucking what's his bucket who played alfred in the um um michael Ca michael kane yeah maybe he did a heist movie i can't remember what it was called though i don't think so I think that was, uh... I can't remember. Alright, we're, we're about to test something. It's not the Italian job. What the fuck am I thinking of? He's in the Italian job. Is he? I think so. But it's not the Italian job. That was too recent. Do, 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 do. It's a Michael Caine movie that ends with them on a bus where it's like tipping over and they can't get the money without tipping it the rest of the way over. Like they're, they're, they're on a bus and so Michael Caine is on the side with all the money and then the rest of his crew is on the side without any of the money. And he has a realization that if he goes to that side with, with without all the money, uh, it could it could tip the whole thing over. It's like, it's I don't know. It, it ends on a cliffhanger quite literally. Uh, I ask the classic Michael Caine film Sherlock Gnomes. <laughs> is he in that? He fucking is. He's in Kingsman. That's a good movie though. Jump. Nope. <laughs> Alright, well I can survive it now, so. I can live. I bet you if I put on that flame quartz ring, that'll probably add some shit to it. No, we didn't have to make a trip to the Maverick or anything. We might have to, like, uh, at a halfway point during your playthrough or, like, right after. Just to do a quick wake-up so we don't fall asleep during Mario, but, like... <laughs> so we just fall asleep. Accidentally end up spending the night. <laughs> your mom's like, what happened? Well, I was playing Mario. Next thing I know, I was... I was Next thing I know, seven On the morning. countryside with uh, Megan Fox. And, uh, I don't know. See, it really seems like the bonfire should have been right here, right? Yeah, it's... It is, it's not in yep. either version, but it really seems like it should have It's been. a weird... Yeah, like, it should be something there. That's where I would have put it. Hoi! <laughs> that was spooky. Uh... Physical damage is really nice. I'm gonna have to swap this out with the flame quartz for now. Fire repelling spray, go. Yeah. 
Yeah, baby! I can do it now. Alright. Yeah, but what was he in? Did we ever find out? Uh. Just just put in uh, Michael Caine heist movies. He's only been, like, in a couple, hasn't Michael he? Michael Caine was... Would you consider Now You See Me a heist movie? Yes. Okay. There was a heist in that, then. And I'm not fucking, like... Now You See Me is, like, a fever dream, dude. <laughs> like, it was the Italian job. It was? Yeah. Was it an original Italian job? What am I thinking of? Was there a remake of the Italian job? Yeah, I think Italian job was like a 60s movie. There was a remake recently, right? With Jason Statham? I don't know recently, but there was... In the last yeah, few years. Uh, the Italian job, 1969. And then there was the one in, like, 2000. Okay, so I'm not crazy. There was one with Jason Statham. Yeah, I think that's... Okay, all right. All right. As long as I'm not... Part... Like, Jason Statham. Ooh, fucking amazing, right? He's in that. I'm not calling him sexy. I, I realize how I made that sound. I mean, <laughs> Ooh! I mean, I mean, he is sexy, but, like, not in, like... <sighs> Being pan is an interesting experience because everybody always goes, oh, you might like all man. And I'm like, no. No. Aaron Taylor Johnson is the only man I've ever, like, truly had feelings for. Where, yeah. like, my heart goes, ooh. <laughs> like, what was the, what specific role? Um, Bullet Train. He's very, <laughs> very attractive. Yeah, yeah. He's very attractive yeah, yeah. in that movie. <laughs> the moment I think you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Bullet Train, 100%. And Kick-Ass, too, he... Uh, he really kind of nailed that. I wouldn't say he's as attractive in that one, but that was where it all started. Because he went from being a nerdy little fucking dweeb. shit dweeb in uh, Kick-Ass 1 to being, like, a fucking amazing badass in Kick-Ass. Kick-Ass 2 is so good for, like, 90% of the film. Oh. oh. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> oh. You panicked for me. <laughs> Uh, yeah. like, fucking Kick-Ass 1 is such a good movie. It really is. And then, like, there's one part that's, like, problematic, but it's, like, you can look over it. Because it's, like, at the time, and it's 100% the director's fault. Uh. Well, there I go. <laughs> and. I didn't lose too much. It's just, it's just 3,000 souls. Who cares? It's just, um, like, 3,000 dollars. Yeah, Kick-Ass 1 is, like, a really good time the whole way through, like, minus one scene. And it's the one where he pretends to be gay. And then yeah, but I mean to be fair, I, I at the time I've, that was like I think it's that was like a bit, right? Th it's it's not portrayed as him like it's portrayed as him being an asshole for doing it. Yes, yes, it's addressed. And that it, he's the an thing, asshole. the problem with it is that because in is that he gets the girl in the end. In the comic, he does the same bit, but he doesn't get the girl in the end. Yeah, he gets his ass kicked because he's a he's an absolute piece of shit. At the beginning of the con, like he learns his fucking lesson and becomes a better hero as it goes. Like he he has a fucking learning curve. And he doesn't he even becomes a hero. He doesn't even do that in the comic. Yeah, like at the end he, they he stops. He kind of saves the day. Everything's kind of lot. The comic is just such like it's a lot more bleak than the movie. Like the comic is comics ending just like ah uh, they they stopped the guy technically. Uh... But yeah, nothing. Everything's looking not great for Dave, because he's <laughs> Dave like, again? "Hey, Dave is Dave is kickass." Right? Yeah, that's this is a that's a real name. And yeah, no, uh, he doesn't get the girl in the comic, like he does in the movie, because she reasonably did not like the fact that he what pretended yeah. to be gay, and then he gets his ass kicked by her boyfriend, and that's like the end of the the comic. It's like the last thing that happens in the comic. He's just a lot well, more, like... Well, is still going. Yeah. Well, it's, like, a weird reboot with... Oh, do you mean, like... No, 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 no. So, like, the the movie is based on, like, the first couple of issues, like, the first arc. Yeah. And now it's still going, from my understanding. Well, it's still going. It's going with... It, it's not the same guy. No, like... I think they I think they changed some things because, again, the first, like, arc is really problematic. No, the... Like it's a full on like different story with a different Is it a protagonist. Different, different yeah, thing? it's like some. It kind of misses the point of. Oh, oh fuck! 
the the current. I was wondering of, when we were gonna do that. <laughs> oh, well, of course, well, that was good. It only go. took us like what thirty episodes, simply that. We did it. Pop the confetti. Um, it happens in every Souls game. You roll off a cliff by accident. Oh yeah, we have to. It's like it's like fucking. My, my favorite one of that is the clip of Dark Side Phil. Where he's played, I can't remember if it's the first or second Dark Souls, <laughs> but he's like, "Oh, I'm finally getting good at this game," and then he just fucking walks off a cliff. <laughs> it's so fucking, oh uh, man, great. I don't know how the hell what that. What fucking mood that is. I don't know how the hell that man is still going. Fuck me. You know what? Fuck you guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Gone. No, yeah, I'm fucking, I'm fucking done. I'm not gonna fight them. I'm just gonna annoying. die again. It's gonna suck. I think I actually have to fight them. Hold on. I fucking hate it here. Yeah, no, the 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 current run of Kickass, from what I understand, isn't very good because it ignores a lot of like just the basic ideas. Of, like, how that universe is set up, where it's, oh, what if you became a superhero? And the whole point of that comic is, like, being a real-life superhero is a fucking awful idea and has a lot of really terrible, like... Consequences? Yeah, a lot of terrible implications, I guess, morally. Being a maniac, masked maniac beating up people. And the new one just kind of ignores that. wants to create this um it's like what if superhero and the the main character in the the what the, the comic it's a different person it's like this lady who's like a war veteran 